All right. Well, huh. words really can't explain that one, right? Um, again, I'm just so proud of our young men. Um, you know, words can't really explain it, but the one thing I can explain is that is just a special group of guys down there. And it took every one of them, took all three phases. You know, Tulane is a really good football team, came in here with on, on a roll with three wins. You know, I think Willie does an outstanding job there. Um, you know, so take no credit off of that part of it. Um, you know, don't know that we played our best ball tonight, but we found a way to win. And that's the, that's the best way that I can explain it. And those guys down there in that locker room, they believe in each other. They're going to fight for 60 minutes every second of it. And it took every second of it tonight. And uh, <clears throat> just couldn't be more proud. Anything that these last three game stretches, you know, the comebacks and the, the, the crazy, just the craziness of it all, just have you even had a chance to make sense of what you're kind of experiencing in real time right now? No, not really. I mean, obviously, over the course of my career, we've been a part of some really good teams, been fortunate to do that, and we've had some comeback wins, but not, not this many of them, right? And, and that many of them in a row. And so, you know. It, it, like I said, the only way you can kind of even talk about it, it's just a special group of guys, and they they just fight, and, and they don't give up on each other. And I'm just happy to be a part of it. And, and David, uh, in particular, I mean, back-to-back -back weeks, you know, game clinching one last week, game-winning picks. Like, yeah. To, I mean, do you have words for him? Here, here's what I'll say about Zavin. I mean, unbelievable kid, unbelievable teammate, great leader. Um, makes plays at big times, and, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I mean, why is that guy not in the running for the Heisman? Tell me somebody else that has affected more games than that guy. I mean, if, if we want to talk about the best football players in college football, in my opinion, I mean, he's, he's there. He, he's a part of it. And, you know, whether it's picks to end games, that's two back-to-back. -back. Took this one back for a touchdown, you know. Game-saving tackles, you know, tackle for losses, sacks. Again, to me, he ought to be in the conversation. I know that's just little old coach up here saying that, but why is he not? Can you talk about the impact that uh, Bryn had on the game? I mean, the offense wasn't, didn't seem to be doing a whole lot, and then he comes in and – Yeah, you know, we, we were – we were really inconsistent offensively. I mean, I thought we had some decent things going, and then we just kind of shoot ourselves in the foot or get behind the chains. Um, you know, I've been saying it since the start of the season, and, and everybody's asked me questions about it. But this this is the best overall quarterback room that I've had since I've been here. And I said we had three guys in that room right now that I feel comfortable going and playing games with. And we needed all three of them tonight. And I thought Davis – Davis is a kid that – he does exactly what we ask him to do from the standpoint of preparing himself to be the starter each and every week. He's taking notes. He's studying. He's getting extra film time. When he gets those opportunities in practice, he's making the most of them. And he's, he's diligent about it. And, and tonight – didn't ex didn't surprise I don't think anybody on our football team and I know it didn't surprise Davis. Um, he prepared himself. He was ready. He stepped in there, made some big throws. Heck, made a great run. Um, you know I can't say enough of how proud I am of of the way he prepares himself and then what he did tonight and uh, just the confidence that that our team has in him that we have in him and uh, he stepped up big time for sure. Last play, you could uh, describe what was you were planning on. Was that what you were planning that that pass, or what what was the plan on the last play? Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to bunch the receivers out to the right. We motioned the back out to the left. Obviously, that bunch, you know, we got a little bit of cross through it, and and then told them to stay tight together as they're going down the field. And then obviously, it's it's a it's a hell mary type play, right? And uh, you know, JC 
Boy, you can't say enough about him. I mean, just Davis threw a nice ball. He stepped out of the way of a little bit of pressure and then stepped up and, and threw it. Allowed those guys a little bit of time to get down there in the end zone. And then, you know, got hit, I, I believe, right as he threw. And, and JC just went up two-handed and, and made an unbelievable catch. I mean, unbelievable catch. And, you know, Keelan goes down tonight, Zach goes down tonight, Seth goes down tonight. I mean, we, we lost quite a few weapons offensively. TK wasn't 100% tonight. And just guys stepped up. We, we had to move a lot of receivers around and, and do some different things with them. And, uh, you know, again, they took advantage of the opportunity they had in there, and they all believe in themselves. They're confident, and they made plays. And also, the, the, the one that tied at 14-14 was, I mean, tar- it, that looked like that was I mean, an all-time play because, I mean, that was just, you know, a, a, you know, and, you know back in the end zone, fourth down play. I mean, talk about that, that play. Yeah, I'm trying to even – I mean, there, it's all kind of running through me a, a little bit. But, uh, you know, uh, which one was that, DT? Josh. To Josh? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we had a uh, we had a little bit different look there. I mean, I, I think Davis was on top of it. And, uh, you know, JJ, again, just just came up with a, with a good one. And, um, you know, I was – it's just one of those deals. I mean, the fourth quarter, our guys have been really good in the second half. We got some good drives together in the second half. But then we started, you know, getting on top of things. And, you know, obviously – once we break the ice, I think our team kind of just continues to keep that mode about them, and they stay hungry, and, and they keep attacking. You touched a little bit on the players that are banged up. Can you give us an update on any of them? You know, not not yet. I mean, we'll wait and see. Um, you know, we'll get a chance to kind of evaluate them tomorrow, let the doctors look at them. You know, I, I can tell you Sess is pretty significant, I believe. Um, but as far as everybody else, you know, we'll have to wait and see till, you know, later on. About the composure with Davis, I mean, here's a guy that you know, hasn't started, hasn't played, and comes in and looks like he hasn't missed a beat and looks like he's been starting for you all season long. You know, like I said, Davis just prepares himself that way every, every day. And uh, he views himself as a starter every day. So when he gets in, you know, and, it, and it's, it's it goes back to when he first got here. I mean, I remember watching him on tape and, you know, Zach may have been going or whatever. And as he was just learning the offense, he's standing behind it and going through every action. He's, you know, every verbal communication that you got to say to our offensive line, going through all of that. And then, you know, he's just progressed over the years. And uh, he's a guy, again, with a ton of confidence in himself. Uh, He really fits what we're looking for. And, um, you know, our guys just believe, and, and he he played out. He played unbelievable tonight. With Saban, you know, like you tell, you've said in the past that he keeps getting better, and he hasn't even played the position for that long. Teams know who he is now, and he's still able to do what he does. I mean, how much farther can Zaven go? You think? Zaven Zaven can go wherever Zaven wants to go. Um, you 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 may. You may be able to get a block on him here or there, but I mean, he's a big guy that's long, that can run. And that's why he's, in my opinion, whenever he decides to come out, he'll be a first round draft pick. Any questions? Hey, Coach, it seemed like earlier, early in the game, um, energy was kind of low with the team. How, what was it like getting this team ready for was such a short week for this game? And obviously, energy's high at the end, but. What was it like trying to get them energized and ready to play? Yeah, I mean, we only had a day and a half of practice, just like they did, you know. Uh, and, and pretty emotional game the week before. Obviously, we got to know another emotional game tonight. But, you know, just building back up. I, I thought our team was ready to play. I, I, they were focused, you know. Um, you know, from the stamps of, you know, I thought our energy level was good. You know, I don't think we were bouncing off the walls, but – uh, I thought our energy level was good, and I thought our guys were locked in. Uh, that's a good football team we played against tonight, and, and they were hot coming in, and we knew it was going to be a, a battle back and forth. So um, our guys were prepared and ready and, and, you know, made enough plays there at the end to win. Have you started thinking at all about the fact that this puts you guys in the running for that conference championship 
game? You know, for us, we got a lot of goals that are still in front of us. And, um, you know, we feel like we're in the driver's seat to those goals. But, you know, we're going to take it one week, one game at a time. You know, we got big tests that are in front of us. And obviously, uh, we got to go to Houston next. And it's a very talented group. We got to win on the road. And uh, those guys got a lot of weapons. So uh, we'll see what that holds. I know they didn't get to play this week or not playing and not playing this week. So I don't know where all that's going to stand. But uh, right now, that's our mindset. We know we got to go to Houston and uh, we got to find a way to win down there.